friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, Spark SQL uh, continuous sessions, previous session uh, we started with the uh, views, different types of views. Please go through this video. And this video primarily we will focus on constraints. So when it comes to data definition language, so we started with uh, how to create a database, how to create a table, and different types of table like mayonnaise table and uh, in external table then view different types of views normal object view and a temporary view and global temporary view and similarly what we will do we will understand constraints when it comes to constraints so delta so here delta is supporting uh, in databricks delta lake so primarily as of now you can use only two types of constraints so one is a not null constraint another one is a check constraint primarily you can use the two types of constraints, not null and check constraint. And there are another two types of constraints, which is the primary key and foreign key. Those all are in a public preview and it won't be available in a Spark catalog. It is available in Unity catalog. Unity catalog is one of the major feature. It is uh, available in uh, premium versions and that Unity catalog, which is not available in community edition as well, even uh, when it comes to primary key foreign key it's not available in spark catalog it is available only on unity catalog we'll have a separate session on what is unity catalog what are the benefits we'll get if you are going to use unity catalog it's a new feature from Sp uh, spark with the databricks combination so so as of now spark is depending on uh, hive catalog so hive uh, nothing but a spark is using hive catalog Okay, so the hive supports not null and check constraint, the so same constraints which we can use here. So not null is one of the constraint. Whenever you are inserting data into your table, if you don't want to allow null values into your table, if you don't want to allow null values into your table, then we'll go with a not null constraint. Then we'll go with not null constraint. So just I'm creating a table with a, with a few columns, but two columns I'm going to create a column with a not null you see this so whenever you create a table with a not null constraint what will happen if you are trying to insert any null data in id column or a date column it will raise exception saying that the column is defined with a not null constraint so which you cannot insert null values that is called constraint restricting okay so now let's try to insert some data try to insert some data I'm going to insert into that table. Looks like a location already available. I'll drop that location. So how to uh, remove a, of files or folders in a particular location? So you can use a percentage fs rm minus r. So user hive warehouse. So there the table name it is events. So I'm going to remove this table. This is a physical location I'm going to remove because if table already location already available which you cannot create a table again so the location already available so that's a common issue in a community edition especially because when you create a new cluster when you terminate a cluster it will purge the spark catalog metadata but your data will be available in particular location because it's a data like storage now let's create table again we'll see that let's create a table again and once the table is available, once the table is available, so the table is uh, having these many columns. And the first two columns, ID and date columns, are not null columns, not null columns. So let's insert this data. The first column is ID, second column is the date. So I'm trying to insert null in the first column. So it is raising exception saying that not null constraint violated, you cannot insert, okay? So an ID column. I'll insert some value here. Okay, one. Now the second column is a date column, even that is also not null. So again, it is raising for that one as well. Now if I insert some, some data on that, if I insert some data on that. So if I insert some data on that, so value is allowing now. Value is allowing means, so some value we are inserting. So only null values it won't allow. Not null values it will allow. Not null values it will allow. Now you can verify the table should have this record. 
So, so null values it won't allow. That is called not null constraint. Restricting the null values. So whatever fields, if, if you want to make it as not null, then you can use a not null constraint. Even you can drop those constraints if, you if you're not using that. So alter table is one of the option is available. So change column, particular column name, then drop not null constraint. Okay. So drop not null. So even we can remove not null constraints using alter table option. Now I am going to remove not null constraint on a date column. So now I'm not removing a column, just I'm removing a not null constraint on this column. So using a change column. If you use a drop column, then it will remove that column. Now, if I try to insert null value here, and first column anyway value is there, I'll insert another record. I removed a not null constraint on second column, so now it is allowing a null value in that. Now, if you go and verify this table, table should have the date column as a null record. Just take this. So this is called not null constraint. If you want to add, you can ask. If you don't want, you can remove that. So that is alter table option. Similarly, check constraint. So check constraint is available in Databricks version 7.4 and above versions. Even you can, if you have already table, you can use alter table, but the table uh, data. So the table, when it comes to data, we you need to create a new table, or maybe you can uh, drop existing table and uh, while creation itself, we can create that. So what I'm doing now, same table, just I'm dropping and creating again. With the data, I'm ignoring that not null. Then I'm going with IDs, not null constraint. Then I'm going to add a new constraint. So that is alter table. Alter table, add constraint, constraint name, check, check is, Finally, checking the values. When inserting data into this date column, please check the data. Please check the data. Any list of values are condition basis. That is called check constraints. So, after adding this constraint, what will happen? Whenever you are inserting data into this table, it will allow only the date value which is greater than this. Greater than this. Let's try to insert some less than that value. Let's try to insert some less than that value. It is violating that check constraint with a date with a range, just a constraint name and violated by row values, particular value. That is the value. If I give us some 1920, so 1920 is a great is a greater than 1900, right? So it will allow now. Now it will allow. Even you can drop that constraint if you have a constraint name, specific name, alter table, table name, drop constraint, constraint name. Now I'm going to verify the data in this table. One record is available. You see this. Next, what we will do?
version sorry actually it is available in 7.4 versions databricks versions now if you go here uh, databricks versions just i'll uh, i'll explain that so here you see the runtime databricks versions right 7.3 9.1 right so it is available after 11.1 so when you go with the show ddl right you cannot see the constraints in previous versions you cannot see the constraints in previous version it may be lts most of the old projects which has started two years back one year back right you can find the 9.1 as a version there when you go with the show ddl you cannot find the constraints in ddl okay so that was missing now it is available in latest version it is available in latest version so when you go with the show ddl you can find that so this way which we can go for constraints check and normal constraints which we can use and another two upcoming constraints are primary key and foreign key but those are not available in normal spark catalog only it's available in unity catalog okay so we'll have a separate uh, video on uh, what is unity catalog and how to use that that uh, i will do a separate video about that thank you see you in another video have a good day